Locally, we find many breeds and crossbreeds. Karnataka has four registered breeds. They are Deccani, Ballari, Hasana and Banuru. Likewise, each state has its own breed. Local breed shape in the traditional grazing system gains 25 to 30 kilograms maximum in two years. It cannot perform better even in stall feeding. All these are meat and wool breeds. But the yield of wool is hardly 500 to 750 grams per sheep per year. It fetches 15 to 20 rupees per kilogram. We do not have separate wool breed like other countries. Hence, this wool is not a commercial product for our farmers. This is the well-known Banuru breed from Karnataka. Mutton of this sheep is world famous for its flavor. Growth and body weight are also good. But none of these indigenous breeds are viable under stall feeding in pure breed form. But use them for cross breeding with exotic breeds like Rambule, Dapa, etc. This is Rambule sheep from USA. The best breed for stall fed system. Population of this breed is very limited in India. Hence, it is being used for crossbreeding. A just born lamb weighs 3 to 4 kilograms under good management. It eats all type of fodders and gains 4 to 6 kilograms per month. It grows up to 50 to 60 kilograms in 10 to 12 months. Rambule ram can reach up to 100 to 120 kilograms. It is better to purchase Rambule pure breed rams and Rambule cross breed eaves to start new farms. Crossbreed lambs grow faster than pure breed ones. Pure breeds are maintained separately for breeding purposes. Disease resistance of both indigenous and exotic breeds is the same. All major diseases and parasites affect both the categories. Eaves attain maturity by 12 to 14 months and the rams by 10 to 12 months. Artificial insemination is not popular in India due to less percentage of conception. Hence, keep one ram for 20 to 25 eaves. Rams and eaves are kept in separate groups. Send the selected ram into the herd of eaves ready for mating. April, May and July, August are the regular breeding seasons in traditional sheep farming. But in case of stall feeding with nutritious food, there is no season as such. It is not a problem also. Eve comes into estrus after two months of lambing. We can expect three lambings in two years under good management. Normally, Eve delivers only one lamb per lambing. Two lambs are very rare, but Gerold sheep from West Bengal gives two lambs in each lambing. Eve selected for breeding for the first time should be in two teeth stage, that is at 14 month age. The minimum body weight must be at least 20 to 22 kilograms. Do not use underweight eaves. Select 100 eaves for breeding in the beginning. Retain 60 to 70 percent of them for further breeding based on the desired characteristics after first lambing. Cull out the remaining ones. The ram selected for breeding should have 30 to 35 kilograms of body weight by two teeth stage. Growth of both the testicles must be uniform. Ram should be healthy, active and standing like a horse on straight and strong legs. Avoid rams and eaves with any sexual disease. In our country, eaves are retained for breeding for five to six years. They are culled out early in developed countries. Eaves produce weak lambs and suffer with debility at old age. Inbreeding is the major problem of sheep farming. Due to this, local breeds in traditional farming are suffering with stunted growth and many other health problems. Hence, put tags to each ram and maintain its ancestry records. Change the ram in each breeding season. If the farm has more than one group of breeding eaves, 
the ram may be shifted to another group in the next season here we can retain the ram for one more season later on buy or exchange the new ram from a distant farm without blood relation with aves avoiding inbreeding is most important for the success of sheep farming gestation period is 145 to 150 days in sheep separate the eaves from the herd one week before lambing and keep observation clean the nose and mouth of the newly born lamb to facilitate easy breathing this eve has delivered the lamb an hour ago cut off the umbilical cord at 2 inch length with a clean knife and apply tincture iodine or put cotton swab dipped in iodine like this and tie with cloth infection to the umbilical cord will cause arthritis collect the placenta and throw it away keep the mother and lamb on a dry floor if the shed is infected with e coli pathogen drench ampicillin antibiotic in water to newly born lamb feed the pregnant and delivered eaves with more amounts of concentrates and mineral mixture newly born lambs should suck the colostrums within half an hour it is most important for the development of disease resistance keep the lamb with its mother for 15 days later on separate the lamb and allow it to feed the milk thrice a day unless the lamb keeps away from its mother it will not learn eating grass and fodder wean the lamb after 3 months only the rams develop horns normally it is retained in some breeds like bunnuru even the rams do not have horns hence there is no question of dehorning in sheep put marking tabs to the lambs to facilitate maintaining records this is compulsory for insurance